Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be breaking down a huge weather pattern change that will be impacting the United States this upcoming week which will increase the heat wave in the United States and bring some surprise severe weather to parts of the United States. I'll give you the latest breakdown on everything that you need to know in this forecast but let's first begin with what's happening across the United States today. We'll first begin with the Central Plains and this is an area that we've actually been seeing severe weather throughout the morning this is a little mesoscale convective system that's moving east southeast through missouri and this has been bringing some severe weather in terms of damaging winds but overall as we go throughout the afternoon it is going to weaken as it moves to the east southeast but pretty impressive that we'll be seeing over there throughout the morning further off to the east we still have some convection in the northeast and this is what we just saw from last night in the midwest with the crazy severe weather with that tornado that we saw in iowa and the extremely high damaging winds in some areas as high as 100 miles per hour occurring now all this activity has moved off to the east and with that being said there will be a chance for severe weather in the northeast and the mid-atlantic with damaging winds being the main concern we'll talk about more on this later in this forecast further down to the south and west as well in the southwest united states we have our massive high pressure system this is our heat dome that is still sitting down in the four corner states and it's barely moved throughout this entire month and it has been bringing relentless heat to a very large chunk of the country and unfortunately this will continue to intensify and move further to the east where heat will be more prone to areas maybe even like the Midwest and as well as the East Coast. And we're going to talk about more on that right now with the jet stream pattern in the United States. Which as of right now, the jet stream is located way back up here to the north. And what the jet stream does is essentially control the weather patterns in the United States. So with this jet stream lifted very far off to the north right now, that's allowing for that heat dome to really dominate across a large chunk of the country, including areas back over on the East Coast. So there is a lot of heat in this area, and that is going to continue to build over the next few days. And the jet stream right now is a bit more zonal which means it's more of a straight line jet stream but once we go into the next week we'll be watching for this jet stream to become more meridional and the reason why is because we'll have a trough back up in canada and the upper levels start to drop down into the northeast what this will allow for is a cool down if you're back up in the northeast you'll be able to see at least some cooler weather low temperatures could actually drop into the 50s in some areas back up in the northeast so fairly comfortable weather for those areas but that jet stream will start to dip and that'll allow for some cooler weather in addition to that the storm act activity and the significant severe weather should diminish a little bit to start next week so i'm not expecting any full-blown severe weather outbreaks but there will be a chance maybe for some isolated severe weather but the jet stream is not going to really be primed enough for a significant severe weather outbreak once we get closer to tuesday into wednesday notice where the heat dome is by then high pressure system located right in the dead center of the southern plains back near oklahoma that is going to build the heat up even more for areas in the southern plains and perhaps closer to the midwest as well notice where the jet stream is by wednesday though it's going to be really again meridional but our next low pressure system they'll have to watch for closely for a threat of some severe weather would be out of this trough up here and that's going to be located north of montana and you might be thinking this won't impact the united states right not necessarily because there will be a cold front that'll extend from something like this if this were to happen we have a cold front that extends down to the south and southwest that would allow for some severe weather along that cold frontal boundary and as this goes into thursday notice where this trough is located it's going to be back up in the upper midwest or at least southern canada Canada, which will allow for a chance for some severe weather perhaps in the upper midwest and parts of the midwest as well going into wednesday and as well as into thursday so this will be something to watch for closely we are multiple days out from this so things are definitely going to change as we get closer but this would likely be our next chance for at least some significant severe weather whether that's a slight or enhanced risk of severe weather this will be something to watch for in addition to that this is this low pressure system will be complemented by some stronger upper level winds so that will obviously help to increase the longevity of supercells if they're able to develop in that sort of environment so definitely have to watch that closely and then by next weekend things really become very interesting and it might not look interesting to you because you're probably like where the heck is the jet stream it's not really located on here because it's not very defined but this would basically be our jet stream and with this being a very weak jet stream by saturday we actually might see a cool down dip down into the central and southern plains so it might be something to watch out for if you're back down that direction going into maybe saturday sunday or monday that'll definitely be something to watch for so stay tuned we'll keep you updated with the latest details there and you might be wondering what does this heat actually look like on the temperature anomalies which the temperature anomalies is basically a fancy word for looking at the above and below average temperatures across the map and that's what we're looking at here so that red is representing above average temperatures blue is below average and as we go throughout this weekend above average temperatures will continue across the southern tier of the united states meanwhile cooler weather for those back up in the northern plains and as well as the northeast once we go into next week by tuesday into wednesday that heat does continue to build across the center really anywhere in the great plains i'll say and as well as the southeast 
United States. The cool down will continue back up into the northeast. So if you're back up that direction, you will be enjoying some below average temperatures. Once we get closer to Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, that heat dome does start to expand into parts of the Midwest and the Ohio Valley. And that is where we will be watching for a chance of severe weather as well. But again, the threat of that is still on the low side right now because we're so far out. Things are obviously going to change. And then once we get closer to Saturday and to Sunday, that is when we could see a little cool down start to sneak down into the central plains that could start to dip down further to the south. We'll have to watch that again very closely as it starts to evolve. But otherwise, the southern tier of the United States still going to be dealing with above average temperatures. A heads up for anybody that has plans in the second week of August, the Climate Prediction Center is forecasting below average temperatures for the remainder half of the northern tier and as well as the northeast parts of the United States. And in the southern tier of the United States, back through the west coast, above average temperatures are currently being forecasted. Again, this is for really the late first week and as well as into the second week of August. So keep that in mind if you have any plans going then. Now let's talk more about the severe weather potential for the next few days. And we'll begin with today. There are multiple areas that we have to watch. We have a slight risk back up in the northern and central plains, another of which is in the northeast and the mid-Atlantic, and then another slight risk back down in parts of the Mississippi Valley and as well as the Ohio Valley. Current concerns for today will be mainly damaging winds in large hail. Notice the tornado risk. It's very low, but it does exist back up in the northeast and as well as in southern New England. So make sure you're monitoring that right closely. Damaging winds, though, is the main concern. That does really go for any of those slight risks of severe weather. So definitely make sure, again, that you're protecting any vehicles. Make sure you're covering plants over and bring any loose lawn items inside and also making sure you hatch down those trampolines. Large hail threat, not really much of a concern for most of the United States. But if you're back over in the Dakotas, there will be a chance for hail up to about tennis ball size. So make sure you're protecting your vehicles, especially if you're in those areas. Now, let's talk more about the timing for today. We'll be watching for storms to fire up around 3 o'clock or so, really even earlier than that is possible. Across areas like Virginia, back into parts of Maryland and Delaware, eventually by 4 to 5 o'clock, those storms will move to the east. Severe weather will be ongoing with some of these storms. It'll stay scattered, so some damaging winds being the main concern. Isolated large hail and a brief tornado not out of the question. By 8 o'clock or so, while this storm activity is weakening out, we could still see some storms throughout Tennessee and Kentucky, but the threat of that is still on the lower side in terms of severe weather. Now, as we go into suspicious storm Sunday, we do have two marginal threats of severe weather. And one thing I want to point out is that we've yet to have one day this month without a slight risk of severe weather. We could go this entire month without having a day that's marginal or less. So we'll have to watch that closely. As of right now, though, there are two marginal risks of severe weather, one in the northern plains, one back down in parts of like Tennessee, basically the upper Mississippi Valley. Main concerns in those areas will be damaging winds and maybe some large hail. Wouldn't rule out a brief tornado, but the threat of that very low for tomorrow. And then going into Monday, this will be another area to watch for would be the northern plains once again another marginal threat of severe weather and we are getting to the point for this time of the year where severe weather does start to ramp up back up into the northern plains so we'll be watching this area closely as that starts to increase thanks so much for watching make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you're not right